what happened to the pool rooms? Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm gonna be talking about a backrooms level called Flesh Pools, which is a weird, toxic version of the pool rooms level. This one is extremely dangerous, and you better make sure you don't go deep into the pool rooms, or you might be sent here. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Sub to my second channel, where I upload pretty much all the time. Simple as that. So this level is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is unsafe and unsecure, not a shocker there. If you want to see my full pool rooms explanation, which is the original level, I'll leave it linked below for anybody who's interested. But if you've already seen that, this level seems to be pretty similar to that one, but at the same time, also very different. The level physically looks like a series of detailed and intricate hallways. Some of the hallways are filled with a red, watery looking substance, which isn't red water by the way, but not all of them are filled up. This level's layout is more volatile and dangerous than the regular old pool rooms, and it's because at any time, the floor could just stop, or there could be a huge drop down, or there could be a huge hallway that shrinks to really small sizes and causes everything to get claustrophobic, or a wall could form and the path just ends. It's all really just up to change. But by a long shot, that is not the worst part of this level because the walls and the floors of this level are also dangerous because they're really abrasive to the touch. Kind of like sandpaper. And they seem to be made out of some kind of spiky rough material. They could shred your shoe sole or they could hurt your hands or knees if you scrape against it. So just be careful, all right? So just like the pool rooms, this level is covered in water in some spots. But like I said, this isn't just any regular old water or almond water. It's actually liquid pain. Shocker, I'm sure you could tell what it was from the beginning, but it's liquid pain. However, it doesn't just stop there because this is a specific type of liquid pain that's even more acidic and corrosive and toxic to the touch than the normal kind is, which means that these pools are pretty much filled up with toxic waste that can melt anything almost instantly, even bones. The only way to counteract this effect if you were to touch this water or anything like that is to pour almond water directly on it and hope it works. If you fully fall into a pool, I gotta say it's probably over for you. But now it's time to talk about why this level is called the Flesh Pools, and I don't think YouTube will be too happy about this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and explain it in the least gruesome way possible. The pools in the water areas of this level are constantly making a loud ripping and tearing noise when they splash around. And inside of the water is chunks of meat. Just regular old meat, YouTube. But the meat floating around kind of makes the water like a giant meat soup. Just regular old meat soup, YouTube. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's where the flesh rooms gets their name from. There's meat in the water. And I'm sure you can infer what kind of meat that is. And it's nasty, to say the least. Now, as I said earlier, the level's paths are extremely dangerous because there's random drop-offs or walls or whatnot. But it seems that the main problem is the islands that you can spawn in or on on this level. And these islands are obviously surrounded fully by liquid pain on all sides. Now, stuff like this will make you have to parkour your way around from dry spot to dry spot so you don't touch any of the meat soup below you. And whatever you do, don't touch it. You'll see what happens later, but it's bad. The actual time of day changes on this level randomly between dark and light. And it stays dark or light anywhere from a couple of hours to several days. So it's all random, you can't pinpoint it. But you can guess what happens during these stages. When it's dark, there's no light coming through the windows, and you won't be able to see anything without a flashlight. This is also when more entities come out, but again, more on that later. And when the level is light time, you'll be able to see like normal, and the entities won't be as crazy. However, when it is light time, you'll still be able to see the liquid pain meat soup below you. All right, so there are two main types of entities here, and they're both seemingly unique to the level. They hide in the dark, shadowy areas of these infinite liquid pain pools, and the first one is called the drippers, which are just grotesque 
masses of flesh that are roughly shaped like a human, but they're not human. They constantly undulate and morph and wiggle, it's gross, but they kind of look like those mind flayer creatures from Stranger Things, if you've ever seen that. But they're also relatively not the brightest, kind of dumb actually, and they can be outsmarted if you can try to escape them. And guess what? These drippers are formed by the meat stew that you're walking over. That's right, the liquid pane with meat chunks in it forms together to make these entities. Nice. The second and last entity is a second variant of the party goer entity, and these versions seem to be more aggressive than the regular ones, and they hunt by using a sneak attack method and hiding in the shadows and trying to jump out and pushing you into the liquid pain pools. That's fun, isn't it? Nothing like seeing a giant red and yellow thing running at you and just shoving you into a liquid pool of acid. Love to see it. To enter this level, for whatever insane reason you have, you can go through a small cramped hole in the pool rooms level, and to exit, you can no clip through a low window to be sent to level 338. So yeah, look for that low window as soon as you can, that way you don't become part of the meat soup. Just regular old meat soup, am I right? That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all had a great Christmas and are chilling with your families and enjoying the breaks and enjoying the gifts you got. Hope you're having a blessed day and hope everybody's just vibing out and relaxing. Check below for any links you need, like the link to this article if you want to see more. Also, my second and third channel. My second channel, like I said at the beginning, gets a bunch of videos a week. My third channel is my SCP channel. And uh, yeah, enough said, right? There's also the link to the merch down there, which by the way, thank you all so much for the support on this merch drop. I love and appreciate all of you and I just am so thankful for this drop went well. I mean, it's sort of going insanely. Tag me on Twitter when the clothes come in. I want to see you all have them. I want to see what colors you got, What just what thing you got. I just want to know it all. I mean, I'm just going to follow everybody back that adds me, so do that if you want that. I do have a pretty big video coming for the 30th of this month in two days. It'll be the last video of the year and it's going to be a Backrooms Rewind type of thing where I go over the top 10 Backrooms creations of this this entire year so it'll be kind of like a award show format that video will be awesome i really hope you're excited for that and i'm gonna have you all vote on your favorites and your honorable mentions in the comments of that video so stay tuned make sure to interact with it it'll be up in two days i hope to see you there it will be really fun and i am extremely excited for the new styles of content that i have coming out in the new year for this channel and for my other channels i have a ton of new formatted stuff for the backrooms videos planned and i really hope they go over well and i really hope you're excited to see them i'm just excited to see your reaction to them Overall, I think this year is going to be amazing. Growth is going to happen, and I hope you're here to stay with me on the ride. Thank you so much for a wonderful year, and I will see you in two days for the final upload of the 2022 year. Peace.